Harinaringen on Montparnasse, by John Glasgow, is a captivating novel that delves into the bohemian atmosphere of Montparnasse in the 1920s. Set in the heart of Paris, the story follows the protagonist, James, a young Canadian artist who becomes immersed in the vibrant art scene of the city. Glasgow's writing style is evocative and lyrical, transporting readers to the bustling streets and smoky cafes of Montparnasse. Through his vivid descriptions, he paints a vivid picture of the era, capturing the sights, sounds, and emotions of the time. The author's attention to detail immerses the reader in the ambience of the setting, allowing them to experience the artistic energy and intellectual fervor that permeated Montparnasse. One of the novel's strengths lies in its well-developed characters. James, the main protagonist, undergoes a personal and artistic transformation throughout the story. Initially, he is a naive and inexperienced artist who dreams of finding his place in the art world. However, as he interacts with other artists, writers, and intellectuals in Montparnasse, he evolves both creatively and personally. Glasgow masterfully captures James' growth, highlighting his struggles, triumphs, and moments of self-discovery. The supporting characters in the novel are equally compelling. From the eccentric painters to the charismatic poets, each individual adds depth and richness to the narrative. Glasgow skillfully portrays their quirks, ambitions, and flaws, making them feel authentic and relatable. Through their interactions and dialogues, the author explores themes of artistic expression, identity, and the search for meaning in life. Another notable aspect of Harinaringen on Montparnasse is Glasgow's exploration of the artistic process. Through James' experiences and encounters with other artists, the novel delves into the challenges and sacrifices that come with pursuing a creative path. Glasgow captures the essence of the creative struggle, highlighting the moments of inspiration, the frustrations of artistic block, and the relentless pursuit of artistic excellence. Furthermore, the novel examines the bohemian lifestyle and its consequences. Glasgow portrays the hedonistic tendencies and excesses of the artists in Montparnasse, revealing the darker aspects of the artistic community. The novel does not shy away from addressing the moral dilemmas and self-destructive behaviors that often accompanied the pursuit of artistic freedom. Thematically, Harinaringen on Montparnasse also explores the complex relationship between art and society. Glasgow delves into the tension between the avant-garde artists and the conservative social norms of the time. Through the characters' discussions and debates, the novel raises questions about the purpose of art, its role in society, and the boundaries of artistic expression. In conclusion, Harinaringen on Montparnasse is a captivating novel that transports readers to the vibrant and bohemian world of Montparnasse in the 1920s. With its lyrical prose, well-developed characters, and exploration of artistic themes, John Glasgow's work is a testament to the transformative power of art and the complexities of the human spirit. It is a compelling read for anyone interested in the creative process, the history of art, and the interplay between art and society.